Hello guys, welcome back to Grand Theft Auto Vice. Vice, why did I say Vice? San Andreas! And this part, we this is part 23, and uh, this part we are doing the Pipping side mission, and this is like the only loca known location of the Broadway in this game, which is a pimping car, and yes, it can have hydraulics, and if it does, I'm we're just restarting the park, because I do not want to drive a freaking hydraulics car, but uh, you can do the Pipping anywhere, and okay, it doesn't have hydraulics, so... So basically, uh, Broadway is the only car that you can do the pipping missions in, so this is the Broadway. It's like a, it's a low rider, which kind of makes the sound of the Hermes, and uh, you can do it anywhere, but that's like the only, uh, that's like the only pl place that, the, the only known place of the Broadway, like you can, like it's pretty hard to do it in Los Centurias, but there, there is a mission in San Fierro that basically gives you a Broadway, so you can do it there if you saved it in a garage, so. But the pimping is, uh, pimping was, uh, something that was first introduced in this game, and I say that because I played Vice City Stories first, and, uh, there were pimping missions in that game for a certain business, but, uh, it was for a business, not like a vehicle like this one, you know. So this is like a, basically one of the miscellaneous, uh, side missions in this game, basically. Uh, just like the Vigilante, Taxi, Firefighter, all that good shit, and, um, Basically, there's 10 levels, but you don't get to see the levels because um, uh, it'll just it'll show you it'll keep showing you the pimping level basically at the top right, sort of like sort of like a skill basically. So once you max it out, all like all in green, like fill it up with a green, then then you have to do something else like just drop them off and then the whole and then the side mission is finished so yeah we're a pimp now unfortunately there is a pimp outfit in this game like I think I said that even even though they do feature clothing in this game there are uh, like actual outfits in this game just like Vice City and there is a pimp outfit in this game if, but you have to date one of the girlfriends to get it and I think it's Denise I'm not sure but uh, I don't know I haven't dated all of them yet I've dated everybody except Helena which is who is in the countryside and I can't I can't date that girl because, like, I'm not going to... How am I supposed to get rid of my muscle, you know? So, yeah, where's this girl? Yeah, this... Uh, if you decide to do it in Los Santos, it's basically spread all around Los Santos. Okay, I don't know how to get to him. Especially since he's... Uh, great. This is going to suck. Yeah, that's... Nobody's actually shooting. That's just, uh, you know, the... Uh, I, it's, o it's only in Los Santos where you'll hear weird gun noises like that. Uh, come on. I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna record all the, uh, I'm not gonna record every single level, basically, so you can only, you can only tell when you've done a level when it goes up by two, so basically two, four, six, eight, and then ten. Like 20%, then 40%, then 60%, 80%, and then 100%, then it's maxed out. And, what the hell? I can't see. Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't see her. So yeah, the the Broadway is one of the uh, considered one of the low riders in this game, and it's possible for it to have hydraulics. But thank God, this one doesn't. So the known parking location for it is at the gas station at Idlewood, where we uh, have to climb on top of it to get a tag. And we go all, yeah, we go all across Los Santos for this now. I know this isn't the best location to do the pimping mission. I think it, it's definitely best to do it in San Fierro since it's the smallest city. But uh, I, I w it's something that I want to get over with now. So I'm just going to, you know, pressure my ass and do it all in LS. Which I'm not going to record all of it. But I am going to show you the basics. Basically everything possible that, that can happen in the pimping side mission. So yeah, the... the the engine sound of the Broadway's not really the best. It's like it, it's basically like the you know how the Oceanic Glendale and Hermes sounded in Vice City. Well, uh, it's kind of like that sound in this game, except the Glendale and uh, Oceanic don't even make that sound in this game. But you guys get what I mean. So yeah, it's nothing really to say much in this part. Other than I wasn't looking forward to doing it because it's, I, I enjoy story missions way more. The fact that we're just doing like, uh, with the exception of it being a uh, a collectible, then I don't really enjoy parts like this that have levels because it's just it's just long and it's not hard, but it's just infamous, you know. Stupid hench. 
Bounce Defender is like the perfect station to listen to because, uh, see, yeah, yeah, it goes up like that. It'll go up more once you, the more you do. Okay, you finish. So basically, basically you pick, you pick up a hoe, drop her off to one of her clients, then, uh, then go and, then go up and pick up another hoe, drop her off at a client, then pick up a hoe that's finished, and then. Um, shit. And I pick up a hole where it's finished and then basically keep it going back and forth and doing the same thing over again. And it's nothing really exciting. It, you are a pimp, but it's it's nothing exciting since, you know, you're just driving around places. But but the but pimping missions do um, turn around in aspects such as uh, the pimp could get, a, or the, the client could get away with the money or he could be beating her up or kidnapping her in a way and then you have to kill her and then get take the money or whatever and then yeah that's how the pipping missions works and there's pipping missions exactly like this in Vice City Stories not exactly like this you know there are different elements because cause you can't, it can't be the same in every game but uh, basically yeah I'll have two number nines a number nine large a number six with extra dip a number seven Two number 45s, one with cheese, and a large soda. Every time I hear that song, uh, yeah, and basically that's how you know that you finished the level. But anyways, back to my big smoke uh, rant. Uh, basically, um, shit. Basically, what I was doing there, uh, I recited his order because the song that was playing on Playback FM, BYF by Gangstar, that, that plays in the point Big Smoke makes his large order, so I, I had to do that. Man, going at next speed here with this shitty car. God damn it. Also, I don't know if, you're, if it's possible for your car to smoke during miscellaneous side missions, because I think the firefighter, uh, the fire truck smoked, but never, uh... Ah, uh, shit. How am I supposed to get off the highway now? Why did I even take this way? Anyway, it's not easy when you got Wayne bueno switching in I saved him from a Mexican restaurant. Johnny Walker says. I don't even know why I'm recording all this shit. Uh, I'm gonna take a shortcut. No, I can't. Ah, uh, wait a minute. How the fuck do I get there now? I took the- I didn't want to take the highway. I guess if I go- if I keep going the way I am, I- yeah, I'll, yeah, this is a good way. Dance. I can make you dance. Fuck. Yeah, this is this guy- the, they also did more bounce games, but I think I mentioned that in my tag party, but you know, I don't remember every single thing I mentioned in my part. But like, I like to point out basically everything about GTA. Not you, not your friend, not a girl in the tube top. SFUR, San Fierro Underground Radio Ladies. Which fits with San Fierro if you listen to it like Los Santos and Las Venturas, I don't know. It's cool. What's on RLS? Ah, Tipo Mendez. Tivo Mendes and Ryder Singh. Fuck. That's not good, especially since I'm basically here. A cop, a cop could come up to me and buff me. Yeah, pimping level went up again. Shit. Go. Your girl is. Oh, uh, I have to go all the way. Ah, it's not that far actually. Let me go this way though. This is for the ah. What the fuck? This is for the rock. This is a quiet song, so I'm not gonna. So I don't think it's gonna be copyrighted. Yeah, Tebow Mendes is a character in San Fierro that we'll meet later on. He was, I, he is in the introduction film with San Andreas, so. Okay. Alright, good. 
this song. All right, pay up. I don't want to keep songs on for too long because like, it, it's not it's not like I'm getting any copyright strikes on my channel, but basically it's just an, it's just annoying to keep getting copyright claims because because I know the more I get, that the closer I'm gonna get to getting strikes. I do think it right now I'm good, even though I had multiple multiple copyrights on my channel. It doesn't it doesn't tell me that my channel's in danger or something like that, but shit, I didn't I almost ran him over. Yeah, see, this this punk is doing these things like this. Now, where are we going? All right, not far here. It's frustrating. I have to travel to to the west part of Los Santos to the eastern part of Los Santos. It's just... All right, so here's what we do. So this punk is taking advantage of your story. Destroy him, but you gotta be careful because the girls right next to him, which you don't want to kill. So with the with the muscle we got, we can beat his ass. All right, now we got 20 seconds. Now you can you can kill him with a gun, but that's kind of risky because I, I just don't want to shoot the girl. I could, but like I just, I don't want to risk it. Coming up next, it's time for the man who can Head to the market region. Okay, that's it's not far. What the? Oh. I said this was a street, but I couldn't tell. Guarding with Maurice. Fun fact that uh, uh, Laszlo actually mentioned guarding, gardening with Maurice in Chatterbox in GTA 3. He's like, this isn't gardening with Maurice. It's Chatterbox. I don't remember what he said after that. Oh, the fuck. Okay, I don't know why I took that way, but all right, that works. All right, so it's almost halfway. It's not halfway just yet. I think the next one will bring us halfway. So that's good. So I'm gonna keep recording, even though this is—it's pointless to keep recording. But like, yeah, I, I never know when like when like something unique is gonna happen. You know, I, I think I'll—I think I'll cut it because you guys basically know it's the—it's the same thing over and over. So. Uh, I'm gonna go. Yeah, my driving skill went up. That's good. I'm gonna go pick up this uh, girl. See what he wants. She wants. And yeah. So we're not exactly a pimp. It, even though it's a pimping side mission, it sounds fun. It's really, it's really boring. And there is a pimp outfit in this game, but since I don't have it unlocked yet, yeah, I dressed I, the pimp outfit is blue, by the way. And since uh, we don't have uh, blue, get your girl to vine with this time, Hollywood. But I, um, basically I. What am I trying to say? Oh yeah, I, dre I dressed all in blue since I don't have the uh, blue pin suit unlocked yet. I just uh, did the next best thing. Uh, when I did this in my original game, the pimping side mission, it was like later. I I did have the pimp suit on, so that was great. It made sense. It doesn't affect anything really, but it's just it's just nice to have your outfit on and pretend you know that your character has a life, you know. <laughs> I say character and not CJ because you, ever, anybody can do whatever you want with uh, CJ. So here we go. Once we deal with this uh, asshole, then I'll uh, no, then I'll cut it because there's no need to keep recording. I'm only gonna. So yeah. Now this is risky, but I'm gonna do it. No, no, not that shotgun, fuck it. I was I was gonna do the sawn off shotgun, but that. That has like a wide pellet spread, so I'm not gonna risk it. All right, so pick up the girl, and then, and then I'm gonna cut it now. All right, chase down that punk quickly. So uh, here's a guy getting away with money. Now I, I wanted, I did want to mention, I forgot when while I was uh, 
I didn't get that much done. All I did was drop the girl off at Rodeo, and that, that's all I did. But uh, there's a punk, uh, not not uh, beating up a girl this time, but basically getting away with the money, so we got to chase him down. So I do want to mention that uh, Broadway that spawns at the gas station at Idlewood, that, it, that Broadway is like always going to be white. And I say that because, you know, I see, when you see pedestrians drive around in Broadway, it's always, uh, it, they can be different colors like that one right there, that's green. In fact, I've only seen green, I haven't seen any other Broadway colors, so that's just, that's just me, but here we, here we go, he's, uh, there we go, he's uh, getting away, so, cop shit, I don't want to get arrested. Or, is that another cop? I can't tell if he's a cop or not, I don't want to get, shit. I'm not going to kill this guy now. Ah, oh, good shit. Wait. He dropped, oh, he dropped money. I just want to get that money. Because, you know, it's useless. Or useful. <laughs> useless. I said useless. Because, uh, yeah, there was a cop there, see? Alright. Where? Okay. So, El Corona. I'll drive the I'll drive the El Corona, but this oh my typical of a one up. I don't I really need to record more. I don't want to keep you guys here forever and watch just the pitted side mission because most people probably aren't even gonna watch this part. So oh, if there's a different color Broadway. Yeah, there are different colors. It doesn't matter anyway because you can customize it at Transfender, but it's just you know the colors that naturally spawn on the street. But just, since it's a long drive and pointless to record, I'm going to cut again, so I'll see you guys whenever something new happens. So, I was wrong when I said uh, that the missile, that, that uh, during miscellaneous uh, missions your car doesn't smoke. It, 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 my Broadway smoking right now because I, on the way I hit a car hard. Just like that, I think. No, no, it was more of a head-on collision. And, uh, yeah, I dropped the hole off at El Corona, but my pimping level just went up, and I'm recording now, because I think that if my pimping level goes up... Where the hell is this hole? The fuck? I can't see her. So I know that because if I if I do another level of uh, pimping, I know my, uh, it w that my pimping level will max out, making, basically resulting in the, uh, this gonna be finished, basically. Yeah, see? Since I picked up the hoe. I'm going up. I can't. Man, Sydney Gray is. Los Angeles is like the darkest city, and I say that as, as in the street. No, it's not either that in San Fierro. I actually don't know, but Los Angeles is like. Streets are orange, whereas in San Fierro, the streets are like blue. It's kind of weird how different the, the map looks in places. But yeah, like I said, Bounce FM is the perfect station for pimping music, even though I can't keep it on. It's the perfect music for this mission, since there's a pimp in this game, an actual pimp character that, in, in his strip club, there's basically bounce, nothing but Bounce FM songs playing. Okay. Alright, let's go. Fuck off. That was a waste of ammo, but I don't care. I love to teach people lessons like that every time they crash into me. Even though I'm technically crashing into them, what are we going to do? Uh, blame ourselves? <laughs> well, I mean, sometimes we can, but if, in case you get frustrated, you know, you know, you just take it out on the person that crashed into you. Now I'm going to have to stop at the pain spray, because my car's going to blow up and I'm on, on the final level, I think. Now it's level 10, even, even though you drop like two hoes off at a time and do two things. Um, yeah. yeah. That's the problem with driving too fast, dude. Oh my god. Asshole will turn in front of you. I'm good. Shit, I don't want to go here. Okay, I'm gonna have to uh, pay and spray. Luckily, Idle Wood's not too far, so I could just spray there. I was trying to do this fast, even though I, pro I I do have time, you know, three minutes is the amount of time it takes to, to get across the entire city of Los Angeles. Of course, 
I'm gonna try to run over this guy even though it's probably risky. Alright, he's down. Yeah, I didn't want to waste ammo. Because I, I need this ammo for the Vigilante. So I lost all mine in just business thanks to the freaking auto weapon switch. Get in. Oh, move your body, that's also a perfect uh, song. <laughs> All right, head to the dock. I'm respraying though. I'm not. I'm not going anywhere until I respray. I, I couldn't see because of stupid shit. Uh, getting in my way. The menu. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to complain, but where is it? Yeah, it's over here. I thought the gas station was like across. From I hate to waste money since I need money for, you know, safe houses and such, but I have to. And clothes as well, because I, I do want to buy every single article of clothing. That way I have lots of probabilities to dress CJ up. And for once, our Broadway has been white, but, uh, but it still looks the same as before now, since uh, I hate wrecking the back of my vehicle. It's just not, you know, I mean, it doesn't matter, but like, I hate, I hate just looking at wrecked trunks. I'd rather drive with a clean looking trunk. You know, rear of the car. I don't know. It's so hard to know the lyrics of Midlife Crisis. So I look up a video just to know it. Alright, so last, last one. We have to go all the way back to where we were and then. Shit. Still with it. What a classic song in this game. It's just you and Of course I went the wrong way. Oh no, I could actually cut through here. Where, where am I going? Temple? All the way back to Temple, yep. Keep this shit on. Alright, now let's deal with this asshole. Now, if I had a normal shotgun, I'd probably get away with uh, killing her, but like, since I have the sawn off shotgun, which is like the stubby shotgun in the other game, I just I don't want to risk it. I'll use an AK, why not? Oh, I aimed at the ghost head. All right, so w once you're close enough to people, you, uh, this doesn't happen in the other games, but when you're close enough to people, you can actually aim at their heads and then they'll die in one shot. Huh. It, yeah, the San Andreas radio is weird since, you know, Ganton, oh my fucking god. San, like I said, San Andreas radio is weird since um, you're, um, uh, uh, since I was just listening to Twilight and the song wasn't nearly as over, but I got out and got back in and now it's a different song. Ah, shit. Get out of the way! I thought this was the final level, but no, I only did this once. Plus there's a park here, there's a shortcut, not by much, but 
I knew I was going to crash in that pool, and, and I thought I was going to get spun out because, you know, because of the rain, but that would be freaking happen. But now I can't drive because if it wasn't raining, I'd be on the right lane, but I had to skid all the way to the left. Yeah, I'm into every little thing that happens. I talk a lot, but only because it's a boring part and there's nothing to talk about, you know, when, when, when I'm doing a when I'm doing a mish story mission, you know, there's plenty of for me to say, but I even forget some of the thoughts that I'm gonna say, and so I usually mention it in the next part or something, which is kind of out of order since you know I wish I. This is the best song in the station. This in three day. All right, now I gotta go take care of this punk. And then we'll be done, hopefully. I think this should be it. Fuck. I'm smoking already. I could respray there, but there's really no point. Let's do this. Going back to the... Like you going back to the oh, shit. Street God. I need a Tavern and the Broadway sucks. They're fast in any vehicle, but especially the Broadway, because it's... It's a nice sturdy vehicle, but it can be hard to control at times. I just hate driving fast, because you're about to head, in, head in, into a car, and you can't stop. I don't know why, but in GTA 3 in the mission, The Wife, I try to stop myself. Uh, I try to brake as hard as I can when, I, when I'm when i about to hit the gate in front of uh, Marty Chonks's, but uh, it never works. I always end up hitting the gate anyway, so yeah, so that's what I mean when some... I like to share too, thank you. Yes. Oh my god, he dropped a lot. All right, so I think we dropped this hole off somewhere and then that's it. Oh no, that's it, that's it, that's good. So, <laughs> I, I, I love the reward because uh, um, prostitutes will now pay you for a relationship. So basically, uh, it, it, it's, an, it's gotta be an exchange, you know? You, you pay the prostitute and then, and then she gives you a good time, but, uh, hey, but now you're getting double the benefits. You're getting the money and you're getting the good time. So basically, yeah. So the prostitute has to do all the work. Well, she's having a good time as well, but you know that's her job. So I don't, I don't know. I was actually kind of hoping to flip that. <laughs> but anyways, that's the pivoting side mission done. And uh, good thing that uh, we had Caesar's uh, race here because it was just one mission. So we were able to get two side missions out of the way: the courier for this island and the pimping as well. So uh, picking up prostitutes in this game basically. Uh, you have to, it's hard to find them on the street, but basically it, they'll let you know when one is around when you, you see the, the dialogue text on the screen saying you want to go to time honey, basically you reply up to positively and then she'll get in your car, but you have to do it quick because if you don't do it quick it, I think, I think something fucks up and then you can't talk to the pedestrian anymore, but uh, Basically, that was it. And the next part, yeah, we're back to story missions, which we're going to do OG Loke's mission strand. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that mission strand. It's kind of a fun mission strand, and it's on the west part of the city, so we're, like, out of the, you know, suburban area of Los Santos for now. So we're going to do a visit OG Loke at Burger Shot for his mission. So see, I'll th thank you guys all for watching, especially those who actually did watch the whole thing, because uh, I know most people... Because I know... I'll understand if you're not looking forward to parts like these because, you know, it's boring, but um, I'll see you guys in the next part for um, the OG Loke missions, uh, Life's a Beach. So let's, thank you for watching and bye-bye.